23, go to Houston, Texas, departure lounge 16. Phase flight 9, leaving London Heathrow for Bombay. Clear here, completed here, completed. Circuit breakers, set, flight next door. Uh, On behalf of Captain Williams and the crew, please proceed now to gateway 15. Please contact the information counter in the main log. Check the heading as 325. Check 325. Trim set for takeoff. Set for takeoff. Flap check. Check. Turn selector. Check. Indicating green. Eight grids. Eight grids. Check. thought where is Tasmania <laughs> so I didn't quite know I expected it to be beautiful um, not very crowded and it was gonna be a different culture I wanted to learn about and I was ready for the experience I thought Tasmania was in Australia for a start off because at school they don't really tell you much just about kangaroos and the bush and that's about it everybody who told me they said it was a really nice place oh very similar to Cornwall in England The Premier today said that he was pleased with the response so far received to the state's campaign to bring skilled migrants into Tasmania. He said that he was encouraged by the number of inquiries received from prospective immigrants who are attracted to Tasmania for the lifestyle it offers and who have an interest in setting up business and industries not yet established here. He made the point that at 450,000, the state's population is very low relative to its size and that there's plenty of room for expansion. He said that even if the population were to double, Tasmania would not be crowded and could still enjoy a lifestyle available in few other parts of the world. He said that already migrants had made an enormous contribution to the business, industrial, social and artistic life of the community and the government is committed to see that that trend continues. Myself, uh, I love Tasmania. I come from Italy, from a little village. When I came out of the ship, I just looked around myself and I breathed and I thought it was beautiful. And I said to myself, well, I'm not going to move from here anymore. In fact, I haven't. I've been here 27 years. I would even stress the point that if I have a choice, I would say either Tasmania or my little village in Italy. My business has progressed fantastically. I have done no advertisement. It's just been uh, advertised by word of mouth. It's gone to a stage that uh, uh, just about every day I refuse people because I just haven't got enough room for them. The business is really fantastic, you know, it's beautiful. Uh, Hobart has got lots of restaurants and very, very good restaurants. I think uh, I won't be wrong if we can say we can compete with any other part of Australia by food, variation, service, atmosphere, well, even entertainment too, now, because there is a lot of entertainment around Tasmania. Well, I have uh, two children, and when we first came here, we thought we might have some difficulties, not knowing what the type of education system you do have here. Uh, but then we made some inquiries, and we found there were quite a few types we could send them to, and uh, they've seemed to have settled down quite well. And we've been quite happy with it.
once you meet friends, it sort of all, all happens really nicely. And, and I, I began to see how silly I was for a very, very long time, feeling so miserable when I could have had such a good time. But now I'm sort of glad that they sent me there, you know? And uh, the people are really nice, you know? I've met some really, really nice people. They still talk funny, but they're really, really nice, you know? We've traveled all around Tasmania. In fact, we've, a lot of the native people that have born and raised here, we've seen more than they have. Tasmania is probably the most beautiful place I've ever been, and as far as being able to just get away. And the stars at night just are so clear and everything is clean. And, and within a half an hour of a major city, you can be completely lost in bushland. Wildlife is uh, abundant. Oh, the kangaroos and wallabies and different things that, you know, are quite unusual to us. We've gone to places where there's been a beach that's been 15 miles long and you can walk on it. And there's not a beer can or a cigarette butt or a piece of paper or anything. Just the normal things that would be there, the driftwood and shells and things like that. And you can just walk for hours and hours and just, just sit down on a rock or a log and uh, get lost in your own thoughts. And you know, it's, Well, maybe people have been there before, but there's no evidence of it. We uh, came out here 29 years ago. I bought a shop and all my uh, life savings were in it, which were as little as they were. I had nothing left if I didn't go well. So I worked hard and prayed hard and made it into a small self-service store. And um, after 12 months, I was selling as much in one week as my partners where I bought it off were doing in a year. So from a store that was doing $150 a week, now, in about 25 years, we turn it into an organization that does now 30 million a year. We employ a staff of 450 people. We now have 10 supermarkets. When I look back from my small, humble beginnings of one little corner store where I had to work day and night all by myself, and to what we've been able to achieve, I really am truly thankful for this wonderful country and the people that have been so willing and able to uh, help me in my progress.
cottage is about 140 years old, I suppose. The, the workshop that I've built myself here is really to cater to both woodworking and, and making pots. They're really kind of two workshops combined. People, people are very prepared to leave you do more or less what you want to do. Well, in fact, it's surprising sometimes the amount of, of local support that you get. A good percentage of the things that I make are used and had by people locally, especially within this own district and, and within Tasmania in general. We found this place up in Hamilton where we, where we could buy a, a property for what money we had at the time. We were looking for a, a place where we had enough room where we could, you know, grow some vegetables and have a bit of land around us. We didn't want to be in, in a city. If you're in the market for a house, new or established, then why not call one of the member companies of the Real Estate Institute? You'll find that they have a wide variety of homes on their books at anything from budget to luxury prices. Look them up in the real estate columns of your newspaper today. Uh, after my escape from Czechoslovakia, I arrived as displaced, displaced person. But within a few days, I knew uh, recommendation has been right, and my decisions to stay was the correct one. From the very beginning, it was the Premier of Tasmania who helped me with loan to develop business. Our government is very helpful, because being in Tasmania with 400,000 people, we got ready access to our Premier or Minister for Agriculture, Minister for Treasury, and we can discuss detail of our business in more friendly, a friendly atmosphere. So it's encouraging to know that government is as close as perhaps nowhere in the world to the businesses in Tasmania. It's friendly atmosphere here, easy to make friends, and you find a way to live and time to live in Tasmania. I would say Tasmania with natural resources got something what all world would envy. It certainly got potentials. Well, we, we came here in uh, 38. And we thought we, screen printing had become popular during our period, and we thought we would set up a screen printing factory. That's how we started. The vineyard, uh, uh, which now is a serious uh, occupation, uh, started in a completely traditional way. So I asked a few friends uh, that were in this industry, and they said, why not? Try, we'll send you. <laughs> and the, the chap sent me up from Kunawara uh, some uh, Cabernet cuttings, and from near Adelaide some Riesling cuttings, and we planted them, and we found that the grapes ripened. But then gradually we got interested, because we found we were making good wine. And gradually now it has become really an interesting uh, activity and the search for quality. I think we're going to make very good table wines in Tasmania. So why do I live here? Well, because I love Tasmania. Uh, I walk outside here uh, and, and I love this place. I think it's beautiful. Uh, you walk into the streets of Hobart and you can't, can't help not meeting people you know. You are recognized. You are not lost in, in the great metropolis. I think that uh, the government, uh, they realized that we could develop uh, a number of uh, comparatively small enterprises um, uh, dedicated to the production of uh, 
quality products uh, using uh, our materials, our timbers, our leather, um, our natural resources, uh, both in agriculture and uh, uh, in the sea, uh, and that out of this uh, prosperity could come to many, many people in the state.